Welcome to the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This morning, Papa Bear and Baby Bear are sitting at the table waiting for their breakfast. <laughs> Mama Bear is busy making the porridge. I love to make the porridge. I love to make up the porridge. It appears Baby Bear is a little impatient. <laughs> But they quickly realized this is hot and decided to go for a walk. Come on, Goldie. Walk. Come on, baby bear. Let's go for a walk. Can I carry you on the walk? <laughs> While they were gone for a walk, Goldilocks was also on a walk, and she discovered the house of the family of bears and noticed no one was home. She decided to try their breakfast. Too hot. No! Shh. Too thin. Not so thin. Just right. Not too tight. Goldilocks decided to try out the living room furniture. Hmm. Too hard. Too big. Just right. That's the same way you will be Are you sleepy, baby or Goldilocks? Maybe it's time to look for a bed to sleep in. Excuse me, the narrator is coming through. Goldilocks tried the first bed. Too big! So she tried the second bed. Somebody ate my porridge. Somebody's been sitting on our chairs. And they wondered, could the person that ate their food and sat on their chairs still be in their home? Come on, let's go check in the bedroom. Here, let's go check in the bedroom. No. This is my bed. No, 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 Alice, we can't go on there. We can't go on there, Alice. Get out of our home. Get out of our home. Get out of there! And Goldilocks ran screaming from the house, never to be seen again. Is someone still in the house? Is somebody still in the house? Alice. You have a new friend! Yeah.